It's just Bruce, he don't bite. <laughs> Hello. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. How you doing? Uh, Bruce coming at you again from the shop. Uh, I figure it's about time I do a little reading of YouTube comments on my videos that I uh, haven't been keeping up with either because I've been so far behind. Uh, I've been hibernating for two years as of as of March because of that uh, disease that's been going around. Anyway, you have two years of hibernating and drive you a little bit crazy. But I'm back to work now, so I don't have as much time as I wish I could to do these videos. But uh, what does that say? Uh, getting an error message. It's been a while since I've used the software, too. At least the way we're going to use it today. Anyway, I thought today we would get some comments uh, from the YouTube channel and see what y'all had to say. And maybe I can answer a few of them. There's a lot of them, so I'm probably not going to get to all of them. But uh, let's uh, bring up the split screen here and see what we can do. Here's that. Move me to the side. Okay, let's get started. I'm not even going to edit that out because I'm weird. Okay. Like I said, these are my YouTube comments from viewers like yourself. We're going to start with... Uh, okay, we're already at the page. You know, comments and mentions. Comments... Uh, first comment of the night is a comment on me talking about selling my Star Wars collection. And it is from Zarnista Studios. I like that name. That's pretty interesting. It's a lot of work to move on a collection. I hope it moves as smoothly as possible. Moving forward, hang in there. Well, that's positive. I appreciate that. Let's give him a little like there. Yeah, I am selling my whole collection. I'm not done yet. I sold quite a bit of it, but not even half of it, really. I need to get on that a little more to move this stuff so it can go to some good homes. Um, so, yeah, it's tough. This one I, I caught on my phone. It's asked me about my uh, reusable molding compound that I had made a video for and how to make your own reusable molding compound. So you can do your own castings with a, a reheatable molding compound that you put in the microwave. Anyway, he asks, uh, Mr. B, would it work if heated on the stove or oven instead of a microwave? Don't have a microwave. Who doesn't have a microwave? That's what I wondered, but who knows? Anyway, I told him, I said, uh, good question. I don't know, but I'm guessing it should. Let me know if you try. I would think on a low heat on the stove, it should work in a good pan. Uh, he says back, uh, I'll have to go at it soon. Uh, I'll post a comment whether it's a success or failure. Thanks for the informa informative video. I, I did like making that video, and it, it's a good quality thing. Uh, it saved, saved me a lot of money in castings. So we'll move on. Andrew Smith on my pressure pot. Uh, this does not work. A bucket lid will pop off at about 5 PSI. Well, Andrew, let me tell you something. Just by reading that, you didn't watch the follow-up video that I did, or you probably skipped through the entire video because uh, it is a little wonky. But if you watch the follow-up videos, I told you how to get it working the correct way, and you have to have the right lid. And If it's popping off at 5 PSI, then you probably don't have the right lid. But uh, catch the follow-up video and listen to it the whole re re listen to it the whole way through this time, and see if you might get what I'm saying. Donna McGraw Anderson, Donna McGrew Anderson. I don't know what video this is. One of my oh, it's that video I did about Karens and sovereign citizens. Sadly, these frauders have figured out that YouTube will pay them good money to do stupid antics, and the more clicks and views they get, the more they can get paid. Plus, they e-beg for donations from their followers. Hopefully, YouTube. And the law will put a stop to it before someone gets hurt or killed. I don't know if anybody's going to get killed over it, but I do agree. A should be a stop to it. Uh, the Karens, I mean, some of them are out of line. A lot of them, what you have to realize about the Karen videos is a lot of them are fake. It's a lot of people just doing fake stuff just to get on the internet and, and make, a, make a movie. Excuse me, I got stuff in my glasses. Or not to make a movie, make a video. And, and like she was saying, you know, they, they want to get clicks and get money and... I get it. I mean, I don't get paid a lot for this channel. I did I did monetize it. That's why you get a stupid commercial popping up once in a while. But I think since January, I've only made like 50 bucks. So it's really almost not worth it. I still do these videos when I feel like it. And I will continue to do so when I have the time available to me. So, But yeah, I mean, long story short, Donna, I agree with you. And I do wish they would outlaw that sovereign citizen stuff. The cops should be able to just yank them out. You know, you know, a lot of things, it's like, I don't have to give you my ID, and I don't consent to being arrested. Well, tough shit, dude. You did something to be arrested. I don't care who you are. Go to jail. Uh, Donna, again, search YouTube for Southern Citizen. 
Uh, okay, she's basically telling me where to go to find other videos like that. You can screenshot that if you want to give it a try. But thanks for the links there, Don. I'll give that a try later. Uh, Don Boyer, six days ago, eight days ago, on well, my pressure pot video. Would not the bike pump put air into the pot? Don't you want the air out? Not, for, well, I've seen this before too. No, not for a pressure pot. For a vacuum, it, it's a pressure pot, not a vacuum chamber, which means you want pressure in it. Um, hopefully she figured that out. Salon Scotty, how you doing, buddy? I haven't seen you in a while. I'm definitely interested in hearing you talk about stuff. Much love, Bruce. Well, much love back at you, Cylon. That's one of my talkie videos where I just tell you what's going on, changing with me working again and not being able to do the videos like I used to. Some people are probably happy about that, though. <laughs> Dick Grayson. That's a great name, too. This was on my, oh, this was on the one uh, video I did about the eBay buyer that threatened to come to my house and kill me. Anyway, he says, for, in May 3rd, 19. Yeah, I'm old. I'm still saying 19. <laughs> May 3rd, 2022. First time visit your channel. That customer sounds like an emotionally challenged POS. He was. If he works for NASA, <laughs> which he, this guy, if you haven't seen the video, go back and see where an eBay buyer threatened me. If he works for NASA and with the way he conducts himself, it sounds like he's, somebody's texting me again. Do you ever notice every time I do a video, someone has to text me? Sounds like he's hoping that someone sends him to the moon. <laughs> yeah, someone should send him to the moon. Uh, yeah, that guy was an idiot. Uh, it, it, and when I did the research on the name of stuff he gave me, I, I'm sure it's not the guy that works for NASA. I'm sure he Googled, the, the Googled NASA employees and that name came up and he just decided to use it. But he's gone now and I still have my $10. <laughs> you watch the video if you want to know what that joke's about. Lakeside USO on my pressure pot video. Looking forward to trying this out. Thanks to the original video and this follow-up. Oh, that's the follow-up video. See, you got to watch the follow-up videos if you're going to make that. And uh, Thank you, Lakeside. I will give you a like there. Next one, Hello Childish. The buckets are... Oh, okay. The buckets are Ropac USA 3.5 gallon food grade buckets. Thank you for making this video. That's some good information because we have always been trying to figure out where these buckets, where we, people can buy them. I had them given to me from a guy that uh, works for a, a painting company. That he, he actually designs the colors and stuff like that. But he was nice enough to give me a couple of those buckets to get started with. But as far as buying them, I, could never, I didn't know where to tell anybody to uh, buy them. So if you're watching this and you need one of those buckets, there it is in the comment, Ropac USA. Next one, Ant, Antasium. Ant, I'm really sorry if I'm pronouncing some of these names because I'm looking at the next one too. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pronounce that. I, I mean well, and I don't mean to be disrespectful. More about the uh, reusable molding compound. Probably wouldn't have lumps if you bloom the gelatin before adding the glycerin. You are correct. When I made that video, I was in a hurry. Uh, Normally, it doesn't have lumps when I do it, but that particular day, because I was making a video, of course, it's going to get all kind of lumps in it. So, yeah. But thank you. And uh, maybe I'll try that next time. Ah, uh, here's that name I didn't know I could pronounce. Zanzan Ariak? Zanzan Ariak. Uh, okay. Oh, about my how to make uh, uh, action figure card backings for your cards. Sorry, this is a poor way to... i got to like this one above here, too. That's good. Uh, sorry, this is a poor way to make cards. I'd also suggest stick, sticker photo paper. You can get semi-gloss or glossy. Um, yeah, you're wrong. I've, I've been making these for years, and this is the best way to do it. Uh, sticker photo paper does not work. Um, it gets uh, bound up on it. It doesn't print correctly, and it smudges whenever you go touching it. So I'm just going to disagree with you, and that's all there is to that. Just... Gurney. Uh, let's see. It's one of my catch-up videos, I think. And they say, glad you're okay and good luck with cooking videos. Oh, this is a yeah, recent one I did. But I have one really important for me question. One really important for me. I have one really important for me question. <laughs> Could you please post a link to the lid? Maybe you're watching the, what I said earlier if you're on here. You have used in your pressure pot video. It just say, where's their name or brand? English is not. Oh, okay. English is not my first language, and I'm having a really hard time finding it in my country. Thanks in advance. Well, actually, I think your English is fine, and uh, so don't worry about that. It looks good to me. Uh, but yeah, read the comment up above. Uh, 
rewind about a minute and a half, and you will see where you can get your bucket. Alexia Death. Ooh, that's scary. Uh, on my Press Pot video. Watch this and realize that if you can do this with a plastic bucket, then you most certainly could do this with an old pressure cooker. Yes, you can. I made another video. I had to like that one. I made another video of doing a vacuum chamber where I used an old pressure pot, and it worked just fine. So there, you're right. There's no reason you couldn't use an old pressure pot for this. You just have to, I don't know. Maybe I'll make a video doing that because I have another old pressure pot laying down here. Maybe I could do a video on that. See, I remember to bring something to drink this time so I don't lose my voice again. NB on, uh, I don't know what video that is. Have you tried an ultrasonic cleaner? I have seen them do amazing things. I'm not sure what video this is. Apparently, I'm cleaning something. Uh, if I slide it over, it's going to mess up. If I slide it over, it's going to mess up the split screen. Ooh, NB, I'm going to have to come back to that when I can see which video that's on. Uh, but no, I've never used a uh, ultrasonic cleaner, if that answers your question. Vidcar Gonzalez, I can't remember this one. So should I use your pot for a 4x4-inch resin cube? Is 5 to 10 PSI enough? If it's clear, like I said, if it's clear resin, it should work. That's a little bigger than I'm used to. Uh, and then he replied, I'm testing it today. Let me know how it goes. Thank you. So hopefully that worked for him. I think it would. I mean, the clear resin that I use in these pressure pots is an overnight resin. It's not a quick dry. So if the lower pressure is put on it, it has more time for the bubbles to get squished and push out. Because over the long term in a pressure pot, it doesn't just squish your bubbles. It does that too. But it, it pushes your bubbles out of the resin uh, eventually, which is why I use the overnight drying time. And that's why that works. Okay, just Linda. Oh, my reasonable morning compound. If you dissolve the gelatin in a little of the hot water before you mix the glycerin the rest of the water, you will have fewer lumps. That is exactly what the other person told me, and you are correct. But like I said, the day I made that, I was in a hurry, and I just want to get the video done. So, But I also like to do imperfections in my videos, a mistake that a normal person would make too. Because my videos are for beginners. I started out as a beginner. A lot of those videos I made, I was doing for the first time. And uh, I like to make people realize that, you know, it's perfect in the video. A lot of people do these videos, and it's perfect in our video every time. It's not always perfect. It's never going to be perfect every time. So I kind of open myself to you guys whenever I do something. I leave my screw-ups on there. But in the end, it worked out just fine. Nathan, uh, uh, Nathan, <laughs> uh, Alarcon, A-L-A-R-C-O-N, Alarcon, Alarcon. All right, Nathan, we'll just call you Nathan. How's that work? Uh, on the pressure pot video again, I wish I could post a pic, but I did use a compressor right away the top and bottom bucket bowed. Yes, that's normal. They do bow. I'll have to try the bike pump. Yeah, um, Nathan, if you're watching this, it will bow, bike pump or not, um, and watch the follow-up video, please. I don't need you exploding anything and hurting yourself. That's actually why I switched to the vacuum pot that I made. Um, I never got hurt, luckily, but I, I have taken it outside just to see how much I could pump in there before it popped. And because of the lid design that I'm using, it didn't pop. It just, one of the flaps let all the air out, and nobody got hurt. Uh, that's why it's important to use the lid that I have. But, um, yeah, give the bike pump a try. But either way, the sides, the bottom, and the top are going to bow a little bit. I mean, my bucket ends up wobbling whenever it's done. But it holds, and it's worked all this time. I'm still using it. Okay, Jess Garney, three weeks ago. Hello, I'm looking forward to trying this, but could also put links to the parts you used in this. Uh, no, I can't. Um, like I said in the video, the parts I used on the actual bucket, you can get at Walmart or your local auto parts store. The bucket, we still don't have a definitive way to get one of the exact ones I used. But I've said enough times where to search. And uh, Earlier in this video, somebody gave me a suggestion what kind of bucket they are. So give that a try. Uh, okay, thanks. Great video. Appreciate that. Vaughan? Vaughan London. Uh, some of these names I feel bad if I can't pronounce. Okay, Pancake Guy. I can pronounce Pancake Guy. I love pancakes. All right, the font on the pop is called Avant Garde. Ha <laughs> ha, Avant Garde. Uh, thank you. I actually need that piece of information. I didn't know what font to use when I'm making these cards. I forget what font I ended up using, but I would definitely check that out whenever I make some more cards. Another fresh pot comment Mark B. Greetings, thanks for the videos number one and two on this issue. 
thank you for watching the follow-up video. A lot of people skip that, and then they just sit there and yell at me and leave mad and nasty comments on the first one. Perfect solution for a do-it-yourself hobbyist who don't want to commit more funds. Absolutely, that's why I made it. I knew there was a cheaper solution out there. Thanks. Ben Works has a do-it-yourself pressure tube made from private PVC pipes. Yep, PVC pipes. Thus said, your three-gallon bucket seems to be a perfect cracker's pot, not too large, not too small, just about right. Yeah, I've been very happy, very happy with the size of that for what I'm doing. And, uh, yeah. Uh, let's skip over some of these pressure pot videos. Here's another molding compound video. I made this test mold myself. It did great work. I made a half batch instead. I didn't have any lumps. Um, yeah, like I said, the only time I really had lumps was when I made that video. All the other batches I made, I've never had lumps in it. Okay, a month ago, Tamara Tenor on one of my catch-up videos. Uh, I think it was whenever I said about me using the Mendoxa deal for my hair. <coughs> if you look at one of my videos from a year ago, I was pretty much bald. <coughs> I was like, I had the side hair and the, the, the whole top, you know, like, uh, hard to explain, like Friar Tuck look. But anyway, uh, on another side note, Mendoxa deal really works. I mean, you know, it my hair's coming back. It's, it hasn't even been a year yet. It's been eight months. So... If you're a guy my age and you're wondering if it works, I'm here to tell you that it does work. It, it wasn't expensive. Anyway, great to see you again. Your hair looks fantastic. Congratulations on your job. Looking forward to more cooking videos. Miss you. I miss you too, hon. I actually know her in real life. I haven't seen her in a couple of years, but yeah, we, we've been friends since way back. And she checks out my cooking videos and everything. And yeah. Uh, Kirk on my, um, whatchamacallit, the, the, the card backs. Which is funny because all these, the comments I've gotten this month on the card backs are all on the first card back video I made. I actually made a better video uh, showing you more in detail what I do. That would, that video I just made just to see, it was one of my first videos I made. So my lighting wasn't right and it just, it, it was, I knew I could do better and then I realized how many hits I got and I'm like, oh, I really need to make this a better video. So I did and you can check that out in my little directory too. Um, oh, anyway, he said double-sided scotch tape works better. No, it doesn't. Um, it, it it just doesn't. I'm sorry, dude. No, no disrespect intended. It just doesn't. Uh, what's this? Another pressure pot. We're going to skip the pressure pots. I think we're going to start skipping the... I think I'm going to start skipping the reasonable molding compound ones, too, because they are getting really redundant. What's this one? Oh, this is when we're talking about the Star Wars collection. And Choose Your Own Path says, you can donate any Rancors to me to add to my YouTube channel. <laughs> uh, sorry, buddy. I sold both Rancors I had. I got a Rancor Keeper, but he's in mint condition. I'm going to make sure I get him up for sale here pretty soon. Uh, Terry Robinson, I have an ad at in need of electronic repair. Motor works, but not with Switch. Do you do repair work? Um, uh, it's funny he says about the ad at. That is the only thing I'm, and I, I replied. That's the only thing on my collection I've never had to fix. I'm afraid I wouldn't be much help on it because I've never torn one apart before. I've never had to. Um, all I did with mine when I got it was in very nice, pristine condition, and all I did was just to clean it out a little bit, and it worked just fine. So I never tore it apart. I'm not saying it can't be done. What I am saying is I've never done it. So, And if I had done it, I'd be like, yeah, send it to me, because you know, I fixed almost everything but an ant at, 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 at. And my dog's making weird noises. What are you eating? Oh, there goes that stock. Another pressure pot one. Grace, what are you doing? You're messing up my video. All right. Uh, this guy, I wasn't going to read this, but it's another pressure pot one. AJ Suki tried with a semi-clear leak tight three and a half gallon from Ace and their standard top. Oh, that was probably the mistake. Sadly, when I put the lid on for the first time, it broke the seal on the lid before it could even pressurize it. Yeah, because it doesn't have the clips around the sides. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, I do not recommend their brand. No, I, yeah. I'm, it's, I know it's I, Look, I know it's hard to find this bucket, but they're, they got to be out there somewhere. I'll try again and report with what might work from Ace. Then he followed up. I rebought. How do you rebought something? I rebought a new leak tight lid and used E6000 instead of JB Weld, and the nozzle was definitely on there tight without breaking. Sadly, I can only get about 6.5 PSI as read on my da, 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 without clamps. I tried some F clamps, far better than nothing, but I had better results with an overnight mason jar vacuum chamber. Equally sketchy as far as safety goes, yeah, I'd be afraid those things would like burst because they're glass. Um, 
Yeah, if you saw the follow-up video, I'm going between 10 and 15 PSI, and that's only because I had the lid that clamps around in separate clamps. So if it does happen to burst, only one clamp lets go, the air will come out of there safely, and it won't blow it all over the place. So good luck with that, man. Um, be careful, though. You're using glass. I don't use glass for this reason. Uh, another pressure pot. We're going to skip over that. Uh, more reusable molding compound. Another pressure pot. That's that. This one. Oh, okay. We'll read this one. Michael J. Weatherby. Great video. Help me fix the motor. Restore a vintage Y-Wing. Thanks again. This is the video I did for the little tiny motors that go in the Kenner ship uh, toys. And I, I actually, they, you know, some people sit there and spin in, hit it with a 9-volt battery and lube it up and everything until it gets going. I went a little deeper. I actually tore it apart and showed you how to rebuild the guts because sometimes there's a little piece of wire in there that, that just gets so corroded, it just doesn't work. I showed them how to fix that. So, good. I'm glad that helped you, dude. Um, carry on. Uh, what's this one? Uh, oh. About the rather reasonable mold comment, I remember answering this one. Uh, Hello, I made this, and a week later I noticed my mold shrank. Do you have any advice on not having it shrink? Um, yeah, if you're keeping it for a week, it's going to shrink a little bit. It's You know, you make your mold, then you use it right away. Uh, when you're letting it cool down, put it in the refrigerator. Don't store it in the refrigerator. I actually store mine. You can't see in the camera, but it's right behind me on top of, on top of my microwave and a Tupperware container so it doesn't get dusty. And... Uh, room temperature um, all winter long it was fine it's in this room right now it's probably about 70 degrees it's 74 outside we actually had a hot day today but yeah if you put it in a refrigerator it's storing is everything but if you, you make it and then you use it and then a week later you expect it to be the same probably won't be especially if it's in a warmer condition so yeah that's that oh this is how to fix the um this next one is how to fix the uh, remote control r2d2 which i do have one of those for sale on ebay right now thanks for the video good job if i missed it i forgive me but do you or anyone know what frequency the remote works on megahertz i don't sorry i hope you get yours working though because i had a heck of a time finding a remote that worked on mine but i did find one uh this one is still the pressure pot i'll skip through these pressure pots i'm sure you don't want to hear them all uh, Ed5, looks like this is my collection video. Awesome, just a shame I may be too late to the party. Do you still sell parts? Looking for an X-Wing canopy. Cheers. Um, yeah, I have those. I actually do. They're, they're, I make them myself, and I still have the mold. So I can hook you up, Ed5. If you're seeing this video, or you see the comment I just left you, let me know, and uh, we'll make that happen for you. Uh, Eagle Eye, what do you have on the, on the collection video? Now, that video is an entire tour of my room what do i have at that point i had everything so i'm not going to categorize it it's, it's more it's just easier for someone to tell me what they need and i can tell them if i have it because if i listed everything it would just take way too much time uh, i think this is oh this is another one of my comment videos i must have seen it because i liked it uh, oh i think this is when i did the comments and last time i said i was going to get out of the star wars thing we had times in our life that we grow out of certain things. New hobbies spring up and we let old ones go. Best of luck with the sale on your Star Wars toys. I haven't grown out of mine yet. And I know that my son will still want the collection when I am ready to pass it on. Well, that's great. Um, you know, I'm not trying to get anybody to get out of their hobby. I just chose to do it for reasons of just reasons. I mean, whenever I pass away, there's not going to be anybody to give it to. So I figure I'm just going to clean house, get my toy room into a, some kind of a man cave, regular den type thing for an old guy like me. I am keeping a few things. I'm keeping the things that mean the most to me, which is only about one or two shelves worth. But I enjoyed it, and uh, I, I feel it's time to rehome it. Uh, back in the collection, Eagle Eye. How much Job of the Hut set and Millennium Falcon and TIE Fighter? I'm a big collector. Um, well, send me a message, dude. Uh, Job of the Hut's gone. Well, I do have two Millennium Falcons. And I have one TIE Fighter. And so, yes, they are for sale. They're not on eBay yet, though, but they will be. More pressure pot comments. Uh, more about me selling stuff. Awesome, man. Good luck. Okay, thank you. Yinzer Cabby. I thought I blocked him. Darth Tasty. On the, uh, yep, on the 
comments and the Star Wars. Great video as always. Love your karma quote. Good luck with your new job. Sending positive vibes your way. Glad to hear everything's going well. Watch out for those sharp objects in the kitchen. <laughs> Keep in mind, a deep fryer is not a toy. Throwing random things in hot oil other than food might be fun, but it's very dangerous. Oh, he's no fun. <laughs> I love hearing positive stuff that people are happy about, you know, that I'm moving on to this new job and everything like that. So that makes me happy. Thank you, Dark Tasty. Juan Perez, how much? Not for what, just how much. I don't understand people sometimes. Um, Stormy T, same video. Sold a few vintage Star Wars figures over the last month. I bought years ago when cheaper and made a healthy profit. Yeah, good for you, man. That's, yeah, that's... If, if you're going to get rid of your older stuff, you might as well make a little bit of money off it and give it to someone that's going to appreciate it. I don't want to sell it into a reseller because all they're going to do is cut, the, they're going to lowball me and then they're going to go around just selling it or parting it out. And I, just, I could very easily take these toys I have, cut them, break them apart, and sell them piece by piece and make more money than selling them whole. But everything I'm selling is whole. Told you I was thirsty. This one's called Posable Figures. Same video. I can understand why people are selling their collections. Someday when you get older, you can't take it with you in your grave. Yeah. So you better sell them before you die and enjoy spending all the money that you earn from selling them other stuff that you really need. I'm also thinking about selling all my Transformers and G.I. Joe collection. I really need the space for other things that's more important than toys like my two cats. That can really use some extra space and having... Extra money is nice, too, when you have big bill coming unexpected. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, if you can't, it's an expensive hobby. So if you really can't afford the hobby, you shouldn't be doing it. But it's just so fun. I mean, for me, when I started collecting, it was reminding me from back whenever I was a little kid, you know, 10 years old, playing with these toys and stuff. You know, when you didn't really have to worry about nothing but going home and having dinner. Um and that's really what got me collecting at first. It's like just holding these old toys in my hands a few years back when I started collecting. Because I haven't always been a collector. I think it's been seven years. Six or seven years since I started collecting. And uh, it just brought back so many good memories. And that's why I did it. I didn't, I didn't do it for the money. I'm not asking even top dollar for my stuff. I just wanted to go to a, a home where someone's going to appreciate it and enjoy it like I did. But, um, Yeah. All right, next one, more reasonable morning. Can I use normal glycerin instead of the vegetable one? Um, I don't know the difference, so go for it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I really don't know the difference. Jeb Stewart, hello, what is your eBay pseudo? I will look at what you have for sale. Have a nice day. That was two months ago, and I never replied because <coughs> I've been busy. All right, my eBay store is Jenner Custom Toys. All one word. So, if anybody else is reading that and wants to go check it out, search for Jenner Custom Toys. Um, uh, on the sale, great great video. Good luck with the sale and enjoy the profits. I'm going to try. Uh, same video, Tokyo Extreme. The only thing I want anymore is the white Boba Fett from a few years ago and an at at driver black suit. I, I don't do any of that. I only collect vintage stuff. All you're talking about is new. Uh, go for it if that's what you're into. It's just not what I have. So enjoy doing that. Uh, <laughs> about the collection video, what? You need to fill your gas tank this week. And I said back to him, I said, yeah, good point, but I'm okay with money at the moment. It's just time. <laughs> uh, Tamara again. Oh, that was me being wrong. That's just a video I did to piss off my one friend. I forgot I put it on YouTube. Um, oh, that's a, that was a, oh, those are outtakes. I think it was the outtake video. Yeah, I made an outtake video of stuff that never made it to YouTube. The particular thumbnail you're looking at, it was me messing around with a friend of mine that uh, she used to work for me when I was a DJ, and her name was Jess, and I just make fun of her all the time. Uh, anyway, she said, loved it, laughed the entire time. Thank you, had a rough day. Yes, please do more outtakes. Oh, I don't have to make more mistakes before I do outtakes. But yeah, if you go through my list of movies or videos, I keep saying movies. How stupid am I? You go through my videos, you'll find an outtake video that I did uh, a while back. And it's just stuff that I decided never put on YouTube. But then again, I put it on YouTube, so tell you that. Uh, um, more, more about the collection, more about the pressure pot. I mean, I like my pressure pot video, but some a lot of these questions are just redundant. So, oh, here's one. 
about my cooking video, Lorraine Craig, two months ago, and I think this is probably where we're going to quit. I think this is where I left off last time. Uh, fantastic. I, uh, don't get left behind. P-R-O. Promo SM. And it ended up, that was a spam comment. It's supposed to get this software or something. I'm fine with the way I edit it. I know my editing is old school, but I'm no reason to be all flashy and have all that crap on the screen and special effect noises. I mean, if you're any special effects noises, it's probably me taking me farting or something like that. So I mean, that's, I'm just going to leave it in. Um, yeah, we are into what we had done last time. So that is going to be all for the YouTube comments. I'm going to put me back on here. Doot. Get rid of that. There's my good looking face. Anyway, yeah, I just wanted to uh, touch base with y'all make, make a new video. It seemed like the comments video last time, so I had some time today. I'm debating whether I want to go down to the Legion where my wife is DJing tonight. Uh, last night was my birthday, and I went out, and I had a little too much fun, if you know what I mean. So I'm feeling like crap all day today. It's uh, 9 o'clock now, so I'm actually feeling better. Plus, you know, hair of the dog. Uh, this, this is Sody Pop. I'm being all legal like here on YouTube. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I'm going to get some time here. I've been creating a lot of new recipes uh, for the restaurant I'm working at. And I want to share a few of them with you here if I ever... Well, first I have to get my kitchen clean. Uh, tiny kitchen is trashed. And neither me or my wife have had time to do it. One of the things I gave myself for my birthday this year was... Uh, weekend off. So today was my day to have a hangover. Last night was my night to drink. Today's my day to have a hangover. And I'm off Sunday and Monday. So I think between Sunday and Monday, I'm going to try to get the kitchen cleaned up and do another cooking video. And hopefully you'll see that on here real soon. Um, I've made some really, really, they've, been, they've let me make some really, really good uh, food um, at the place I work at. Um, I'm a chef, by the way. Um, we did a Kentucky Derby day on, uh, last Saturday, which was of course the Kentucky Derby and the people that, um, the people that I cook for they're they're from my age and older, uh, not a lot of younger people. So, um, I was thinking, all right, so I did some research on the Kentucky Derby and of course they're famous down there for wearing these big crazy hats and, uh, bourbon and, uh, also this dish called the Kentucky Brown. And I learned about it and I'm like, this is the same as a Turkey Devonshire. It just has different cheese sauce. So I made the Kentucky Brown for them for the Kentucky Derby, and uh, which, to give a little bit of history, the Kentucky Brown comes from uh, the Brown Hotel in Louisville, Kentucky, which I worked at for a very short stint back in the 90s. So, um, and we it was a big deal on Kentucky Derby Day. I was only there for a couple months. Uh, that was when I was going separated from my first wife, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, so I made it for them. They loved it. And that was one thing. It was just super easy to make. So I run on the regular menu. Now I run a regular Turkey Devonshire, which is from Pittsburgh. And uh, they loved it. And that's just something simple. I've given them buttermilk fried, buttermilk fried chicken sandwiches. They went nuts. They loved it. I, it's a good dish. And then uh, they told me that no one's going to want soup and sandwich on this time of year. No one wants soup now. I made the best tomato basil soup from fresh tomatoes and fresh basil. And I served it with this really good uh, grilled cheese sandwich. And they ate it up. So, and I got that and a couple other things going on. I do have a video about my egg rolls that I make. They're my own recipe. And I, there's a video on there for my egg rolls. If you check it out, I get the story behind that. And um, the Elks was one of the places I used to sell them years ago. Well, now they're going crazy about it now. And I'm happy to make them. They're really tasty. But anyway, you can learn how to make those if you want to watch one of my videos. And like I said, look in the list, you'll find my egg roll videos. So anyway, that's it for me tonight. Um, I just wanted to do a real quick comment video, see how everybody was doing, catch up with a few people. Um, got some ideas and some stuff coming up here in the near future. With summer, I'm thinking maybe do some outdoor cooking. Um, I don't know, maybe we'll just blow stuff up. We'll figure something out. But anyway, thanks for watching, and click like down there, please. Leave a comment if you want to, and I'll see you next time.